introduction. Yes. Yes, I send you this slides that you know through email. Did you get my email? Yes. yes. Everybody get my email. All right. Anybody did not have an email from me yet last night? Please can let me know. Um, come to this slide set. This is a uh, introduction to naval architecture and ocean engineering. And so there should be a two textbook is used for this course. Naval architecture is for shipbuilding, and ocean engineering is ocean explorer. Application. And also, the Mr. Bay, Bay is a TA, you know, TA. He already started his homepage for this class. So, using this link, you can get information from this semester. And also, there is a link to the previous semester. So there are so many uh, videos also, including uh, YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. Um, today, I will try to explain what is the goal of the class and books and operation of the class. And then, grading system, composite, and schedule. Okay. So, this is uh, just an overview or introduction of Naval Architecture Ocean Engine. So, still, to who does not have a or shipping And then, so that the terminology is important because, especially the naval architecture shipbuilding, has been very long years, thousand years, only beginning of the human time. So that the terminology is very unique and old. That's why uh, there are very Strange wording terminologies, but this is because of the uh, historical background. But if you uh, once okay, uh, learning that terminology can be used for other area because that terminology was spreading up down to new industry areas because of the history. Student who has already have a Experience. It is not a requisite. Then, so terminology. Okay. So say about one thousand. It's a so wrong for I guess because I I get this number of Chinese characters are inside the educational system of Korea. Characters of China because in all the history of Korea. We use the Chinese characters for well, many years ago. 500 years ago, there is Korean character set of uh, characters. Nowadays, more and more people use only Korean characters and even using English rather than Chinese characters. But in Korean government is uh, recommending the student. Uh, or two thousand characters. That's why I'm Next note, this slide set will be sent to you by uh, email, or we will use uh, SNS, and uh, I prefer to use Kakao SNS. You need to have your account there for convenience. Textbook. There are two textbooks, one for naval architects, and the other one is for ocean engineering. We'll cover some of them. And then also there are more uh, uh, detailed books. This is coming from the uh, United States. Uh, it is Society for Naval Architecture and Marine, Marine Engineering. There's a book of uh, three books, volumes. This is very heavy and fundamental knowledge on naval, naval 
And this one is just for Korean students, it's just a Korean translation of this. <laughs> I need to stay here to join my face. Too. Okay. Once uh, Tia is coming, he will break another camera. But he's in, in uh, self uh, staying because of the corona until today. So he'll join next week. So this is the book, the original book, and left hand side and right hand side is a Korean translation. And this is the left one is our textbook, number two textbook. And right hand side is, is the, uh, the three volume uh, heavy book, Fundamental Principles of Nevak, which is coming from uh, Social Therapy Exchange. Bringing, we use this uh, numbers for several semesters. So probably we will keep this. More more uh, percentage on come project, so student lectures and discussions rather than homework and reading. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions, please speak anytime. Right, go ahead. We have to buy the books, or no, I don't think. Any other question for online? Yeah. And Tom Project is a sample. And also, you can see more uh, materials coming from the report from the previous semester web website. They are all uploaded lecture notes and then presentations and so others. You can see more details from the website. So, Mobile Harbor and Seabase was uh, talking in. Oh, only 11 years ago. And usually I prefer to have a team project of three students as a one team. Depending on the situation, but I prefer to have the numbers. And we had uh, at that time as a big project called Kaist Mobile. But before then, there was a sea base in the United States. ONR is Office of Naval Research in the United States. And also, this is of, uh, Office of uh, US Navy. And also, universities. They, yeah. It is about uh, 40 years ago. Yes. There, they have a big such a project inside this because they need to have a progress. Their country, say Middle East or yes, with these times on, they the, the, the local country do not want to stay or inviting US troops stay in their country, but they want to have their base of territory. That's why they started to study about floating air base near the country or sea broken. That is the idea of Swiss. Okay, and then Korean Navy also has similar idea. This one is coming from next year on, on Energy Island. The artificial island with a full set of uh, renewable energies, such as uh, wind power, Wave uh, spectrum and also heat, uh, but uh, uh, temperature difference to, to generate energy. And, and also solar power panels too. Is it? And, and the wave energy, in the turbine, and also hydrogen, oxygen, uh, or batteries to. Uh, convert energy into hydrogen and store it there before transportation. And this is uh, an interesting uh, project coming from Microsoft. You can see from the logo of Microsoft, 
תלמידות? ビコーズ、ディスワンヘズアベリーハイテンプレチャーエネルギーストレージエネルギーコンシュムションソデッテニードトヘバーコーリングシステムオンザウォーターイズグッドトヘバーウォーターサーキュレーションデイトセンターイ
And instead of using oil, they use gas for the building because of the fire of cost and also because of the pollution problems. So the project for this semester, you the team can choose any any idea. It's uh, no, there is no uh, guidance. Comment. But it is a recommendation that uh, there was a big disaster in Korea six, eight years ago. The name of the ship was Seoul. So you may choose that kind of thing. And or similarly, life saving, similar. But Korean Coast Guard has a headache around the fishing. Port or Korean uh, forest. There is uh, several cases of capsizing of fishing. And then unmanned um, ship is very uh, popular in these days with the electric propellant you see from the German piece and also renewable energy, pollution, and, and explosion. For Mexico, you may uh, not. There was a big explosion by a oil production system, but seven or eight years ago. It was owned by BP, British Petroleum. What a big uh, extent. No, myself. No. See, no, 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 Yeah, SNS, I prefer to use Kakao. So if you have a Korean telephone number, it's easier. But without te Korean telephone, you can also do by uh, PC or and that is for If you make a, a Kakao, then please uh, send the account name to so then you can make a group for group to go to a better communication. Yeah, on-site address, and also there was a so we may have a short uh QA session. Or what kind of uh, things you want to learn while you are coming here? Or what kind of uh, curiosity do you have from uh, about ship or mission? Any other questions, any other ideas? Yeah. So, we can start a short discussion. We have uh, nine people here. Okay. And then I heard from Victor uh, and that from Sungi also did an attempt to Dongun. Could you turn on your audio and say something? Dongun. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Go on. Raise any questions or discussion, or otherwise, you can introduce yourself. I don't have anything here. Question. And you can introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Dong Kim. Uh, I'm a third 
semester in a master degree. Uh, I'm uh, in research in uh, travel loss and, and audition topic in Sana Kim's, uh, Professor Sana Kim left. Yeah. Thank you. And then let's go on to Hang Yohan, please. Mr. Hang Yohan. Uh, uh, did you call me? Yes. Yes, uh, my name is Gyeon Han, and I'm also the student of Professor Sana Kim's lab. So <clears throat> uh, recently I worked with some heavy industries, such as uh, Samsung heavy industries or something. So I have some interest about some this ocean engineering and now naval, yeah, <laughs> not effect the spelling, but yeah. But so I have in, interest about this subject. So I choose to this class. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. What kind of work you are doing together with Samsung Heavy? Can you introduce? Oh, 다시 한번 말씀해 주실 수 있나요? You you say that uh, you are work, have a work with the uh, Samsung heavy industry. Yeah, exactly. What kind of work are you doing with them? Uh, we invest uh, research about uh, the steel plates, the grinding surface, and the surface uh, such as surface roughness and the adhesion of the epoxy painting. Mm. And recently. Yes. The sub <coughs> uh, task was finished, and I want to study about it a little bit more. So I choose this class. Okay. okay. All right. So then we can go to Yugabin. Is you, Yugabin, can you tell us? Oh yeah, I didn't notice like I'm also a student in Professor Sana Kim's lab and I'm actually an undergrad student so I am double major in mechanical engineering and material science engineering and I was also well doing a project in uh, Professor Hyungsoo Kim's lab so I am quite interested in fluid mechanics which is one of the reasons why I took this course because well all of course, like we kind of look at smaller interfaces, but oceans are also large bodies of water. And I was also taking some other course on like environmental fluids, and they taught us about some microplastics and like ocean pollution. So I think I would like to learn more about those aspects in this class. So you are in underwater. Oh, yeah, course. I'm an undergraduate student. Well, you know, have you been to our what kind of you know, in, in how many years? Oh, uh, my um, year? Uh, I'm uh, my fourth year student, so I'll be graduating uh, at the end of this year. Okay. Thank you. And then we go on to uh, yeah, uh, hello, I'm uh, Agatheo. I'm from Indonesia. Uh, I'm a third year undergraduate student in mechanical engineering. Uh, the main reason I chose this class is because I've been interested to ocean textures. Like, uh, when I first thought of ocean architecture, I, I thought of like ports, harbors, and such. Uh, I didn't really know that there is also boats in this, uh, in the, I didn't know that boats will also be covered in this class, but uh, yeah, it's interesting to me. Thank you. Thank you. You know, there are many islands in Indonesia. Can you tell me the numbers? How many islands there? Sorry? 
Brilliant. How many islands inside Indonesia? Uh, there are 17,000 islands in Indonesia. 17,000? Yes. You need to have ships between them. Yeah. Yes, we can. Thank you. Now we go on to Imbanzo. Imbanzo. Yes. <coughs> yes, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Hello, my name is Min Somni. I am PhD student in Applied Fluid Mechanics Laboratory, Professor Taegyun Kim. And my research topic is fluid structure interaction that elastic sheet that interact with uniform flow. Also, the, uh, ocean engineering is a uh, part of the fluid mechanics, so I want to study the specific area of fluid mechanics. So I uh, applied this course. Thank you. Thank you. How can I study? Hello, my name. I'm in the library right now, so I cannot pick my microphone. Okay. Okay, next time. So what kind what country are you coming from? Mm -hmm. Okay, while you're typing, you can move on to so, book talking. Shan Shan Mustao is from France. Okay. Okay. No problem. Thank you. Then go on to Shao Shao Rishi Das Uta. Yes, Professor. Uh, hi, my name is Sorish Das Uta. I'm from India, and I'm a fourth year student. I'm, I'm majoring in BTM. And my second major is mechanical engineering. Engineering. Sorry. You make your major is not mechanical engineering. Yeah, mechanical engineering is my second major. So what is the first major? A BTM. B say again. BTM business and technology management. Oh, business. Okay. Oh, my God. Uh, yes, Professor. Hello, I'm Yisung Yu. I just started a PhD degree in this master, uh, Professor Fison Lee's uh, laboratory. Uh, before I start uh, this degree, I was a researcher at KAIST uh, uh, on KAIST Ocean Technology Center. Uh, I work for the, uh, human resource development for smart yards. So that's why I have interest in this class. Uh, thanks. Now we're getting on to rules. So uh, my name is Amelie. Um, I am from France. My major is mechanical engineering and we are fourth year undergraduate. Uh, because today TA is, TA is not here today, so I only have one camera. But next time I will, the TA will operate another camera so that we can see other person's face in, in, in the classroom. Sorry, Professor. Yeah, go ahead. And then, uh, so my name is Shizok Yoon. I'm uh, also, in my, I'm, uh, also in my last year. Uh, in bachelor in mechanical engineering, also a st exchange student from Canada. Uh, the reason I, I took the, these courses is because I, I uh, like I'm interested in the, the um, military defense naval industry. And I just want to know what to better about that subject. Maybe, maybe. Yes, there will be a special guest lecture by uh, a person who has been a, a Korean Navy for 30 years. Mm -hmm. So you can expect a special lecture. 
Et des semestres. Ouais. Does that sound is good to you? you. Can you hear uh, the students are speaking in the room? Yes, Professor. I I can listen uh, his voice very well. Okay. And next, please. Uh, hello, my name is uh, Mohamed. I am uh, coming from France. I am in my fourth year uh, undergraduate of majoring in mechanical engineering. Uh, I chose this class because uh, I never had any subject about ocean engineering, and I thought it was a very interesting subject. And uh, I wanted to learn more about this. Thank you, and lastly, Hi, my name is Simo Che, and I'm getting master's course third grade. And I major fluid structure introduction, and especially I my research chief topic is holding fiber and interaction with flow. Uh, thank you. Thank you. All right. So you can raise uh, any question or discussion anytime using the uh, speaker, also using chatting or other method. Okay. Please raise your clock whenever there is. It helps me to or easily. Right. Look this way. Can we finish up the slide set?